to the tarot goddess this reading is about zaho and wang's relationship so yes um zaho and wang they had like a a relationship that was really close it started off as friends but then they um ended up getting very closer uh they both are in the entertainment business they both um wang is like an actress and zao he's an actress as well and he does a lot of other um a lot a lot of other job opportunities that he has like actually coming he did so much during his life as far as acting and Wang she's she she's an actress she's a very very decent actress and them two had a lot in common it was more than just being in the entertainment business um being in a spotlight it was more so of a close connection between the both of them um they're very popular and they're both stars okay when they are together and, and that's what the public look at them as as stars so what i am picking up here with them is that they do have a close bond with each other it seems as if they had to break up that secret relationship that they had with each other and this was like a couple of years ago i mean this relationship this this um intimacy relationship actually ended like in 2016 2017 between the both of them um it seems as if uh the public actually broke them up um they couldn't be out in the open with their relationship so it had to be secret but you know a lot of people were asking questions and it was putting too much eyes on them as a couple instead of just being workers you know being both um in the same industry working as actor and actress um i do see that they do now have like a really close friendship um they wanted to pursue their relationship longer but like i said the public broke them apart um zaho is really going deep into the acting business um he's really really coming out and blossoming in front of the spotlight and a lot of people are noticing his creativity and so is wayne she's really doing her best um, she's very focused, but it seems like they both had to separate not too long ago where they weren't talking to each other. It seems as if they weren't talking for a long amount of time and they started to miss each other. So it seems as if their bond is really close. I mean, it seems as if Wayne just can't live without him. <laughs> you know, she really has this close connection with him and she wants to keep that close bond with him because she really do um, care for him. You know, but she just can't be out in the open with it because so many people would not be approved of it, especially their families. Okay, so they do have to have some compassion when it comes to being in a spotlight and being open about their relationship. They have to really be cautious and careful. Um, it seems as if they do have deep love feelings for each other. But Wang is kind of hiding it. She doesn't want to come out in the open and, and tell him because she did agree on the separation of the relationship she wanted to just be platonic she didn't want anything more deeper than that so it was for the safety of their um career you know she didn't want the career to end up messed up and you know a lot of people the public talking about how they're together and you know she felt a certain type of way so she just rather just keep it as just friendship um they both also um they both have so much happiness around them and they always showing happiness in front of the public eyes um they always showing how you know they have a deep connection with each other and this deep connection is like it's not it's noticeable okay it's very noticeable and when they collaborate with each other when wayne collaborates with him despite putting her career at risk it seems as if you could see both of them smiling together i mean it's always some type of deep connection between the both of them that is very more deeper than spiritual and but you know sometimes you have to put that boundary you have to set boundaries because you don't want them to you know you don't want people to say oh they're together so that's what it was it seems as if they both were kind of embarrassed they didn't want to be in a public eye as being like workers falling in love that was just becoming too much and having these rumors being created about them so they just rather just keep it as friends and this is why they have this close bond with each other now um they're moving forward together in new different different avenues of more more avenues more opportunities to open up with more movies 
for them more um acting jobs so if they were to be in a relationship it would not have last because if they would would have kept it going, it would not have last. Not because of the, the emotions behind it. Of their emotions, the love for each other is very strong. That would have kept them together because they are soulmates. But they couldn't spoil you or mess up their careers. So it was best that they just went separately. Because you figure, Wong, she has to travel for her actress career. And then you know he has to go for his acting so it would have been a conflict for them to actually make time for each other so that's what they had to really take into consideration so this is why they chose to just keep it you know platonic just be very close friends they're going to always have love for each other respect each other there's always going to be a deep connection because they do have a lot in common okay and the one thing that they do have majorly in common is making a lot of money okay so they do perform and then besides making a lot of money they both know how to perform act <laughs> in front of the camera so they are a great duo so they just it's best that you know they both just keep it you know as just a friendship and that's what they have been doing for the last couple of years they've been keeping it very cool you know they go out here and there not in the public eyes but you know they do try to spend as much time it will communicate with each other as much okay because they felt like you know what that's the best thing that we can do at this point instead of everyone just assuming that we're in some type of relationship so that is the best thing for them to do and that's something that you know they're both satisfied with at this point it seems as if they both they both had to make this decision even though this decision was hard, but it was best for their happiness. It was more suitable for their happiness. It was the best route to go. And they have so many different opportunities coming their way. They have manifested so much. Okay, so much growth. And they want to stay on this career path. And they just want to keep on going and find their way to where they don't have to look back or be able to be judged again. It could just be like, you know what, we made this we open up these doors for so many people and now we're trying to really just sit back and enjoy life and then they could be out in the opening with whatever decision they decide to make pertaining to their friendship or relationship but what i do see for them in the future i do see them being together i do see them being a couple but not right now because they're still young so it's best that they just wait put that on hold and just keep it as friendship and that's the decision that Wang made okay she'd rather wait and just you know <laughs> if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't she just want to wait for that right time to you know figure out life because they're still young they're still enjoying the acting and actress scene and being in the spotlight filming movies and their times is just so off so it's best that they just keep it platonic and just keep it moving and you know just spend time when they do have that chance to so with that being said i hope you enjoyed this reading on wang and zao and i will see you guys soon bye <laughs>